initially if you are a little bit slow also don't worry about it uh, there are two things uh, for anything you do in your life one is of course the accuracy and second is the speed right so first thing you should uh, concentrate on is the accuracy part you should make sure that if even if i'm giving you let's say 10 points to complete and you can only complete three points just make sure that those three points you understand perfectly and you know how to configure them any questions ask me make sure you are good about that so accuracy is very important the speed will come uh, later so don't worry about the speed part so if you cannot finish the lab uh, in that week during that week at least make sure that whatever the portion you complete you complete it with the complete understanding and uh, a comfort about that okay i'm comfortable about this particular topic or at least this part of the topic right so this is why uh, this course was created because there are so many courses in the market where either you get a lot of theory and you learn a, a lot of concepts of course but the uh, practical part is missing or you go for the boot camp kind of courses where you have to learn all the technologies you have to do all the practicals within a week or maybe 10 days uh, boot camp time so what we did is we created a unique program so that you get the concepts of course i will cover the concept let's say i am starting ospf so i will go, cover all the important concepts of ospf but then we will go through the configuration and then you will have to do the lab in that particular week right and uh, i will be configuring that lab step by step into the zoom session so when you get the lab you will have the recording uh, also available so again don't try to test yourself don't think that i should remember everything and try to configure by that if you can that's awesome but if you cannot don't worry because we are here to learn and that's where the time thing is very important we have 6 months right see to 24 weeks and the reason we have 24 weeks is because uh, the accuracy part is more important we will concentrate on that and then the speed you will actually gain later so don't worry about it that's why you have the whole week to complete your lab step by step this uh, lab can be done maybe in 1 hour or maybe in 2 hours but uh, you will be able to uh, do that so uh, uh, the way we are going to go through this course is from the what is expected from our side is to make sure that all the topics are covered and we go through them with the hands on approach so the focus is hands on in this particular program uh, what is expected from your side is to just show up make sure that you attend the zoom sessions every week and you complete the lab you do the configuration of lab right so that is the only part needed from your side and then of course if you have any questions or suggestions we are open for that and we will be able uh, we will be available whole week so any time you can ask the questions not only just in the q and a session uh, of this video right so uh, you will have recordings and you will have support so that's what i wanted to cover before we start today's session so let's start with the topic today so what we have we are starting with and this is very interesting also we are starting with ip addressing and subnetting and the reason we are using this topic as the first topic is because subnetting is one of the most important uh, topic or object for the exam and also for networking so if you are thinking to create a uh, your career in networking or if you are already working in networking and you want to uh, do other courses as well maybe juniper maybe some uh, other vendors uh, you need to know Uh, subnetting and that's why subnetting is important and we will start today uh, but don't worry about it if it is completely new to you and you don't grasp everything today it's okay because uh, we have created this program in a way that in every lab that we will provide you later uh, the subnetting will be covered there as well because uh, for example if you are doing a lab for eigrp or bgp or spanning tree protocol we will make sure that we also include subnetting somewhere uh there so that you keep practicing subnetting for the whole 6 months so of course every week will be a new topic but subnetting will be like a, a overall uh in the backdrop of uh, every lab as well so that is going to make sure that you are very comfortable in subnetting by the end of this course right so let's start the very first topic today so today i'm going to start with the basics of networking ip addressing and subnetting so let me share my screen and we start